guys, Urge here! Welcome to my first After Effects tutorial. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys. <laughs> <coughs> um, anyway, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do my CC. Urge CC, Diffusion CC, you guys can call it whatever you want. You are going to need a third party plugin called Magic Bullet Looks or MBL for this color correction effect. And um, yeah, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is pre-compose our clip. If you just finished editing and you're about to put your color correction, you want to select all of the layers and then pre-compose it. There we go. And then let's add an adjustment layer. And then go to the effects and presets panel and search for sharpen. Now drag it to the clip. I usually put 50 if my clip is like bad quality. By bad, I mean like 720p quality. So since our clip is already good, I put like 30. You don't want to over sharpen your clip because it would look bad. If you like put it at 100, it would look like this. Wait, I mean, if you put it like that, it would look bad. So yeah, I just put like 30. You don't want to like over sharpen it if you want to see like the best results in the preview thing you just want to like change the preview quality to full if you're at quarter it would look like this so if you want to see the effects just put it at full there and then the next thing that we're gonna add is unsharp mask drag it to the adjustment layer and then i usually don't do anything here I keep it as it is because I already think it's good but if you want to change anything you can go ahead and then the next thing that we're gonna search is magic bullet looks drag it over to the adjustment layer and then click on edit uh, a window should pop up there we go now hover your cursor to the tools tab, go to the subject, and then drag curves, and also pop. So what curves does, it, it basically messes with the lightness and darkness, like the shadows or anything that comes with lighting. So for curves, what I do is I bring this up, you don't want to like over lighten it or over darken it like this i just keep it like this i don't have exact settings for my cc so i'm kind of like playing with this and then i bring this up uh, i bring this down there we go you don't want to like over darken it so this is already okay now the third knob i just put it also i put it down like this as well so now we have that like cinematic look. If you want to look at the original and compare um, with curves and then without curves, just close this, click this, there. As you can see, this is the original and this is with curves. Now for pop, I do around like 15. So what pop basically does, it like, it, 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 and it, it enhances the edges. As you can see now go back to the tools tab and then go to matte and then add diffusion the best effect yes, in magic yes, yes, sir. hands down yes, change yes, my mind sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah so if you don't know what diffusion does it does this it has that like glow thingy if you play genshin impact you probably know what this effect looks like in the game but yeah, so for my settings, you guys have been waiting for my settings. My settings is like, for the grade, I do like 2.50 or like 2.70. It doesn't really matter. And then for the size, um, it depends. You want to keep it at the character. Like if you want to keep the glow at the character, but you also want to spread it a little. Like this there we go i already think that's good you also wanna change the highlight bias 
I mean, it's up to you if you want to um, change it, but yeah. There. With diffusion settings. <laughs> yeah, there you have it. Okay, now let's go back to the tools tab and then go to lens. Add the vignette. And then increase the radius to like 2. There we go. Let's go back to the lens tab and then search for his flare okay so for my his flare settings i put the matte box size at like zero. Oh yeah um the tint color that i use is white but you can also use like other colors if you want i just use white as my default for the softness i do like 75 there we go and then for the reach I do like zero there and then you want to increase the spillage value to like something like this and then you want to increase the exposure value as well there you go you don't want to increase it too much so you want to keep it at like that there and then go back to the tools tab and then go to camera add to strip process and then put it at like 100 percent as you can see it made a lot of difference in the colors it has like that pinkish bluish color to it now let's go back to the tools tab and then add lut or loot if you want to call it and then select EOS standard to mojo it has that like green tint to it as you can see you can also not add it if you want that's already fine this is already looking like an urge style if you want urge style um urge style cc is like very similar to other cc's as well like phase suya chan m7zx and my friend emily also uses this before but for this tutorial i'm going to add lut there we go let's go back to the tools tab again you can also add film green by the way but it like messes with the quality if you like upload it at like youtube or instagram before i used to add it but not anymore now go to post and then add ranged hsl so we want to like um we want to like increase the colors um ah how do i <laughs> it's hard to explain this effect so the more dominant color in our clip is like blue and then white or let's say red for this one so you want to increase the blue parts or like the blue color there also this one i don't have exact settings since every clip is different as i said before let's increase the reds and then orange the purple what i also do is i increase the red and then like make them closer to pink so it it has that like pinkish color to it as you can see you can also like do it with orange as well so yeah it has the it has that like orange look to it if you want to see the difference again you just want to close this one as you can see it did it did make a difference and if, you, and if you're finished you just wanna click on finished and yeah there you have it an urge cc um if you have this like white things in the sides or here at the top and bottom do, do, do you just wanna like decompose the adjustment layer in the clip and then add optics compensation And then click reverse lens distor distortion and then set it at like 10. 
there. So it hides the, like the white things in the sides. And yeah, there you have it. My CC. And yeah, um, I did add a preset in the description. Just download it. Um, if you don't know how, just um, if you don't know how to add it to the clip, just do what we did before. Add sharpen, and then the unsharp mask. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, sharpen, unsharp mask, and then add an adjustment layer, and then click on animation, and then apply animation preset. It's called Urge CC. Just add it. And there you have it. You can tweak with the settings. Um, it depends on your clip. So yeah, you want to change it. I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support that you've given me. All of you guys have been asking for this tutorial. Um, specifically diffusion settings. Uh, diffusion tutorial. How I do my hot cc but yeah there you have it um also thanks for 500 plus subscribers i did promise that i would post this tutorial when i hit like 500 but yeah if you think this video is entertaining or informative consider liking and subscribing and clicking that notification bell to get updated whenever or notified whenever i upload an edit or whenever i make another tutorial because i am going to make another tutorial again in the future for sure and share it to your friends who just started editing in after effects um and if they would love to use this color correction as well um yeah that's about it peace Ooh, Pamela, how they all trying to get in your pen i just want to let you know in advance they can handle you